Professor Dave and Chegg here. We have learned a lot about different types of isomers, so much so that it will be worth our time to quickly review the different types of isomerism just to make sure we have all the definitions straight. Let's do that now. So under the umbrella term of isomers, there are two main types of isomers. That would be structural or constitutional isomers and stereoisomers. Structural isomers have the same molecular formula, but different connectivity. So if you take some alkanes with the same numbers of carbon and hydrogen atoms, but the carbon skeleton is arranged differently, those would be examples of structural isomers. The same goes for something like ethanol and dimethyl ether, which also have the same formula. The atoms are just connected differently. So sometimes structural isomers have different functional groups. Then there are stereoisomers. Remember, these are molecules that have the same molecular formula as well as the same connectivity, but they differ in the way the atoms are arranged in three-dimensional space. In terms of subcategories of stereoisomers, we have enantiomers and diastereomers. Enantiomers are stereoisomers that are specifically mirror images of one another. Reflect one across a mirror plane, you get the other enantiomer. Diastereomers are stereoisomers that are not mirror images. So if a molecule has multiple chiral centers, inverting one or more but not all of the chiral centers would produce one of several other possible diastereomers. Remember, if we invert all of the chiral centers on a molecule, whether that is one or ten, we produce the enantiomer. It is only if not all of the chiral centers are inverted that we produce a diastereomer. That is why molecules with only one chiral center can't have diastereomers. They only have an enantiomer. In addition to diastereomers, cis-trans isomerism also falls into this category, such as where we have multiple substituents on a cyclic molecule, and those substituents can either be cis or trans with respect to one another. The cis and trans versions are diastereomers of one another. So with that, we should be crystal clear on all the kinds of isomerism, like structural isomers, stereoisomers, enantiomers, and diastereomers. We should be able to define these terms and provide examples of them. Professor Dave for Chegg, see you next time.